And thank you, Coach. We are across the Hudson from Midtown Manhattan at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford, New Jersey. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it. This crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the New Orleans Saints and the New York Giants. This is taken at the three. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32-yard line. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. First down throw, gone. He's just going to dump this one off to his fullback out of the backfield. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. It'll be a gain of six, and it'll be second down. Slips up past the 45 before being tackled. His first catch there, good for 10 yards and a first down. carry now this is Alvin Kamara and he's going to get this past the 50 and into giant territory a solid run on first down gain of seven leaves him with a second and three despite the blitz they're still able to pick up a nice solid gain the disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there Second down, Kamara. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. They get five out of that one, and it moves the chains. A couple of nice carries back-to-back -back here, establishing the ground game a bit. Yeah, these are bare-bones runs now. I mean, they're getting substantial yardage, the kind of yards you're looking for, right? right. Let's go ahead and use a cliche. Stay ahead of the chains, right? Five, more, five or more yards each time, that's what you're looking for in setting a tone and getting your offensive line going. Good sign on the opening drive. Now Goff on first down. Fitzgerald bringing it in over the middle. And he's going to get this inside the 30. A nice pickup there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. Take this down just shy of the 25-yard line. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. What's the old expression? Three yards in a cloud of dust? In this case, it's dust-covered pellets. It's no longer that old grass that we used to play on right and chew it up. Now we've got that artificial surface. You see the pellets go up. Still a nice play by the defense. Stay on the ground. This time it's Camara. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. 23 yards on the pickup there and a first. That's his longest run of the first quarter. And Charles, we talked before the game about them needing to establish the run game. They'll be looking for more of that. 
And they got to the perimeter. So that tells me that that's part of the game plan of what they want to get done today. So they'll have some complimentary runs where he'll run it to the inside. But it appears that when they want the big yardage, they think they can get to the outside and make it happen. They'll run it with Kamara. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. It'll be a three-yard pickup, and it brings up second and goal. He's had success on this drive, but not on this play. Finally, they bowed up defensively. I think they were determined not to let him take it pretty much all the way down the field. Yeah, it looks like they handled their run responsibilities correctly this time. What we call them run fits, everyone was in the right place. And he's got him. It's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. Traquan Smith, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Saints have taken the early lead. Lutz good on the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. Lutz now to kick this one away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. here on first down but oh right away he lost the football but I believe the Giants got this back and they will hold on to the possession Now then, after the sack, it'll be interesting to see what they have planned for second and 23. The first carry for the former Nittany Lion. This is Saquon Barkley. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. It'll be a gain of 18 on the play. And they're going to face a third down. It seemed like the situation was second and a mile to go for a first down, which screams what? Throw the football. you got to pass in order to try and pick up that kind of yardage. But in this case, they ran a tendency breaker because the tendency is for defenses to be out there and be set up for a pass. So you break tendency and actually run the football. That changes everything because if you're able to find a crease, you often have bigger guys working against smaller guys downfield. They picked up excellent yardage there to bring up a third down. From the gun on third down, Leach. He finds Beckham complete. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. Seven yards on the quick slant and a first down. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. No, 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 check, Patriot, Patriot! A first down carry for Barkley. And he's across the 43 extra yards to the 43. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Defensively here, you're facing a top five team in terms of points scored in the NFL. So when they're that high-powered, You've got to find a way to hold them under 20, because to me, that's the magic number. 20 points score gives yourself your, you give yourself your best chance to win. So if they're up around 24, 28, 30, they could be in some trouble. And I think so, because then you turn it into a shootout, and that means your offense has to keep pace. Detroit! Detroit! Alert! Alert! Three out, three out. 
Looking to throw on second down. Leach looking deep downfield. And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. A big play there. His second touchdown on the season. And the Giants are an extra point away from tying up this football game. Aldrich Rosas on for the extra point. Rosas good with the extra point. And we are tied at seven. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. This is taken at the three. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. First down, it's gone. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Fitzgerald. And he's brought down after a very nice gain. A good pick up there, 26 yards. in the offense with a first and ten and he's a perfect five for five here to begin the game from the 50 it's gone Smith catches left side and he'll be brought down at the 45 yard line five yards on the catch there brings up second down well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. Again, this is Camara. And he's got this down to the 35. It's a 10-yard pickup, and it moves the chains. Getting the sense, Charles, they're going to put a big emphasis this afternoon on the run game. And why not? What we're seeing so far, working pretty well from them. And here's the best part. We always talk about the best performers do their job when the lights come on. I think he likes natural light best. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. That will carry for Mack. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. And when the defense wins and gives up no yardage on a running play, that's something they can build on and carry themselves forward throughout the game. Second down, here's Goff. And this is going to be incomplete. But prior to that, he had hit his first six passes to start the game, so what a nice little run to begin. It feels like this offense has carried its dress rehearsal into the game. You know, because you do practice it, you do go through it, and in this case, it is clicking exactly like they drew it up. Complete pass on second down. It muddles things a little bit here. This is third and ten. Out of the gun. Gone. And this.
this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there, need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. An incomplete pass on first down, that leads to a second and ten. taken down at the line of scrimmage. Calling no gain on the run there, and now they'll be looking at a third down. And he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, it was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just zoom, quick, 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 and what a terrific play, holding them to no gain. Sets up a first and goal. Now gone. That's going to go as a loss of four, and it'll be second down. Moved back to the 10. They'll try on second and goal here. Saints are able to cash in for six. Lutz will look to add the extra point. All drives that result in points hurt a defense, but when they are the sustained variety, play after play, and they just can't get off the field and stop them, that can be demoralizing. Lutz with the extra point, and that makes the score 14 to 7. Lutz now to kick this one away. This will be fielded at the six. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. And here comes the Giants' offense back out onto the field. And they had to wait a long time to get the football back. Probably not what you were hoping for when you got an offense that's humming. Agreed. What you were looking for is the defense get the ball back pretty quickly, right? Hoping for a three and out. So that didn't happen. You can't yell at your D for that. They've got to take care of their own business and reestablish themselves now that they're back on the field. They'll start out on the ground at Saquon Barkley. 
And he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. It's a loss of five there, bringing up second. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. And what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. False start's going to push him back, but these days, how hard must it be to be an offensive lineman? It's very hard, Brandon. You've got defensive linemen flinching, trying to draw you offside. You've got the loud crowds, and there are just so many super athletic players on defense now that you have to deal with each week. But through it all, these guys just sit in there for four quarters and slug it out. And that false start penalty is certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. Looking to throw. Leach. His throw is going to be incomplete. Marshawn Lattimore right there on the coverage. He was draped all over it. Nice play there to force the incompletion. And to me, one thing's for sure. When you're the underdogs and you're playing on the road, you absolutely have to get takeaways. You've got to get the ball from them. Yeah, win that turnover battle going to be key. They didn't get one there, but you get the feeling they keep making plays like that. They might just get a few. Yeah, once you get one, defensive teams think they come in bunches. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. From the gun, Leach. He's going to float this one deep right side. And almost picked off. I guess the good news for them now, it's fourth down. Well, that certainly looked like something that they discussed all week in practice getting ready for this one. Take the big shot right out of the gate. At worst, you'll open up the defense a little bit, loosen them up, have them back on their heels. Fourth down, so on is the punter, Riley Dixon. And the win last week punted four times as this one's away. Now the Saints offense, they get ready to go back to work here. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. So first and 10 now from the 30. First down. Over the middle to Smith. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. A gain of six there on first. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion. So here's second and four. Goff now, looking to throw. Finding some room at midfield. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. Catch number four for him on the afternoon, and it'll give him a first down. I think it all came together there. In-breaking route. Drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. down carry it's Camara some extra space following the display of power down just inside the 45 it's a seven yard carry to set them up with a second and three offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball but when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage they almost feel like he's one of them and they really embrace him Scrimmage and he goes down right there. 
Call it no gain that time as it's going to leave him with a third and about three to go. A good chance this is four down territory if they're unable to convert. But right now looking at a third and three. Camara. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. Just a yard on the run there. That's going to bring us to a fourth down. But forget knowing where the first down line was. This defense created their own line of scrimmage. They won every battle up front. And a lot of times that is one-on-one. -on -one. If you win your one-on-ones enough times, your defense is going to be pretty good. They have more people to the football and snuffed out the play. It's a nifty return of 29 yards. And it'll be giant football first and 10. Around the NFL, second quarter down in Tampa. Now you saw the score at the bottom of your screen a moment ago. We got a good one going on there. That one tight to this point, and you'd have to imagine it'll stay tight throughout. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. They begin with a run by Barkley. And he'll get this one up to about the 39 here. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. Let's talk a little football 101 here because one of the keys to advancing the ball downfield, success on first down. Huge difference, as we know, between second and four and second and eight and nine. Detroit! Detroit! We got three. We got three, fellas. We got three. Now a first carry for the backup, Isaiah Crowell. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. They get six on the pick up there as the drive will continue. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. Here's a give to Barkley, pushing forward for three up to the 48. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size, of these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half, maybe not so much in the second half, and some of these shorter gains turn into bigger runs later. To throw on second down. Leach into heavy traffic and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 48 and his guys will set up shop at midfield at the 50-yard line. Well, if you go by the numbers, you'll find as the temperature goes down, so does the passing efficiency. And now that we're in December, even the routine throws are going to be harder for the quarterbacks. And this one, it winds up getting picked off. A good starting spot for the Saints as they come up first and ten. Running with Camara and an alley to run. Some extra space following the display of power down just inside the 45. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. Two minutes to go here in the first half. We're back to East Rutherford, but first this time out.
They'll run with Mack. And he'll be brought down at about the 42. Only a yard of the pickup there, and it'll bring up a third down. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? The Saints on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. Goff now to throw. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? Zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. And the punt team on now as this one's set away. And a little too much mustard on that one. It hits a couple yards into the end zone. A missed opportunity there maybe to pin him back. First carry for the Clemson man, Wayne Goldman. And he'll find some space up to about the 25. On the tackle there, Natrell Jamerson out of Wisconsin. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down. A very solid gain on that play. Here's a second and five now from the 25. Looking to throw on second down. Leach, they'll set up the screen to Barkley. Nothing on the screen that time. Now it's third down. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. So nothing there on the screen that time. That means all that great acting they tried on offense went for naught, didn't it? Because you have to try and influence them. Make them think that you're doing something else. Make them think that they can get to the passer by letting them by and then setting up the screen and getting downfield. Didn't happen at all. Give a lot of credit to the defense for not tumbling to that one. They had the catch on second down, but it didn't help at all. And now they're looking at third down here. from the gun. Leach. And that is incomplete. Certainly looked like they were getting ready to convert there on third down, but what an effort to get his hand on that one, knock it away, and brings up a fourth down decision. Here's Riley Dixon now as he'll kick it away for the second time. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. And the ball backed way up. So thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it, and we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want to overthink it in this situation. Either side of the ball. Just go ahead and finish up the half and get on out and talk about it. A little under 30 seconds to go. We'll see how they play it here on first and 10. On first down, gone. Drops this off to Kamara out of the backfield. And he'll get it up here this time to the 21. Four yards on the pickup, and that'll make it a second down. A shotgun snap for gone. And the giant rush gets home as down he goes.
So we have reached halftime with the visiting Saints out on top as we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach! Okay, Coach, appreciate it. A one-touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. Set now to go for the third quarter. The Saints have the lead and set to receive the kick. Here's the giant offense now as they get ready to take over here. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here in half two, no? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors, but overall I think they wanted to be positive with them. Guys, we're right there. Just not playing as well as we need to. Let's, Let's pick Green, it up, 39. and we still have a chance to win this game. Yeah, they do. We'll see if they can pick it up. And he'll get this one up to the 26. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Tough first half for him, unable to put up the numbers he's used to producing. But with a guy like him, you and I both know it just takes a couple of explosive touches for him to make an impact on this game and on the stat sheet as well. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. They'll run it again with Barkley. His 11th touchdown of the year. And the Giants are an extra point away from tying up this football game. PAT up and good by Rosas. And we are tied at 14. So we're right back where we started. All even as the kick's away. This is taken at his four. And nice work on the return as he'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. Now the attention turns to the Saints offense getting ready for their first possession of the second half. First half showed us some pretty good offense tie game we'll see what the second half brings and it'll be interesting because i think both sides feel pretty good about what their offenses are doing gotta wonder what adjustments are being made defensively to try and get a spark and maybe slow down the other side but here do you change up anything on this opening drive not offensively you don't you got everything going your way you've probably prepared and he fires one that's intercepted Rasul douglas picks it and gets by him and now a little daylight Interception, but on the field, the guys who are picking it off, they're not saying that. Nah. What word are they using? It's Oski. <laughs> and that means catch the ball and go the other way. That's your vernacular. I've never heard anybody say Oski. Ask around. They'll tell you. Rosas good with the extra point. And that'll make this a six-point game. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag. But you caused the play. You did it. I had to. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. And they gave up the pick six. And now they'll be looking to right the ship here. Now, as a quarterback, are you a little more cautious this go around? You should be, just because after what you gave up. But you can't be so cautious as to just really take things in and now you're not going to play loose enough to give your team a chance to score. But you still have to be careful because those defensive guys, I know the reputation defense guys can't catch. All evidence to the contrary on that last possession, though. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. He'll come up now second and four from the 31. They run it again with Kamara. And he'll get this up only to about the 33. Give him a yard on the run there, and that's going to set up a third down and two. 
Partner, we know today's NFL is really built around the guy throwing the football. But these short runs, they still pay dividends because they can take their toll on a defense and they can add up as the game goes along. You control the clock, you control the ball, and that way you often control the game. The Saints on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. Here it's third and two. From the gun, here's gone. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. The beauty of being able to play a zone defense when you can sit back and see the ball coming out of the quarterback's hands. Guess what? Creates a lot of confusion. Kind of a muddle in the middle of the field where you can go make a play on the football. And he uncorks a beauty. Best of the day. And New York set to take the field. And they were good last time out with a touchdown drive. This go around, it's not going to be very easy starting from inside their own five. But they shouldn't be daunted by it. You work on this the entire offseason. You work on it in practice. It's called coming out session. Start the ball inside the five. Start on the five on the ten. They should be ready to go. They'll begin with a run by Goldman. Shedding the tackler, and it gives him some room. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. Now we've got a giant player here, slow to get up after that last play. We'll get an update when we return to MetLife Stadium. Just like that, out of danger and up past the 40 now for first and 10. Hey, hey, hey. You got three, got three. Three down, three down. Ah! A handoff to Barkley. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. And there's a nice stop for the defense. They've had a tough time containing this guy all game long, but maybe they can build a little bit off of that play, a little bit of confidence, a little bit of momentum. Yeah, every now and then you can actually tackle that guy. To throw on second down. Leach. And the Saints pressure gets him. Brought down for a sack. Trey Hendrickson in there to drop him for his fifth sack of the year. The Giants on third down, just one for three thus far. This is third and 16. From the gun, Leach. And he will find his man on the end route, complete. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. They do get nine, but it leads to fourth down. Well, that's certainly playing down in distance very well by the defense, isn't it? Take whatever you want underneath by all means. Dixon, the putter, is on as he sends it away. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. On first and 10, gone. Looking left side and he's got a man. That's Smith. 
And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive. First down. to throw he finds an opening past the 40 and he'll take it to the 43 yard line that one good for 16 and the drive will continue now they, they completed a couple on this drive but they peeled off some pretty good chunks of yardage too absolutely great start two nice plays in the pass game now can they continue to feed off that Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. On the ground, Kamara. And he'll get this up past the 45 to the 47. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down, a very solid gain on that play. Again, it's Camara, And he's going to get this past the 50 and into giant territory. Still a couple yards short of the first as the three-yard gain brings up a third down. short one here complete to the tight end and they'll get him down as he's inside the 40 a gain of 11 and a first down So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Now a handoff looking right. And able to push his way forward here for a good little gain. Up from the secondary to make the tackle, Jalen Ramsey. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. out to Camara. And oh, he's going to be brought down by the face mask. Here come the flags. This is going to get him a first down. So that flag will cost him 15. And it doesn't matter anymore how you get the face mask. Any part of it is going to be 15 yards. So the yellow flag came out, and that leads to a new set of downs for this offense, first and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Now he's got it, and he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time, and a first down. 
Well, coaches always talk about finding balance on offense. I don't think you can get much more balance than this. Big time run, big time pass. A one-two combination. Look pretty good. How about that? Let's see if they, let's see if they can continue to take that kind of a punch, though. They'll come out in the pistol. Try to pound it in to Mara. And he takes it across and into the end zone. Touchdown, Saints. A great play there with touchdown number seven on the year. And the Saints are within an extra point of tying this thing up. A little surprising they wouldn't go for two, but this is up and good. And we are tied at 21. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Giants offense now, they get ready to head back on the field. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trade expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. You don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. That's caught by his tight end, Evan Ingram. And a nice gain of 21 yards. There are so many things to watch for when you play defense. And reading your keys, you always hear about that, and having your eyes in the right place. Sometimes your eyes can fool you. How about that play action there? And it sprang the big guy, didn't it? Able to dump it over the top to him. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. It's Barkley on the counter. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. Looking to throw on second down. Leach, he's going to go for a bit. It's caught inside the 25. Touchdown, Giants. A big play there. His second touchdown of the game, his third on the year. And the Giants have broken our tie as they take the lead. Rosas to add the extra point. up and good by Rosas and they will take a seven point lead Rosas now to kick this one away this is taken at his four and nice work on the return as they'll start their drive just past the 30 yard line out onto the field comes New Orleans. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. They start the drive on the ground. Camara. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. Welcome back now here in East Rutherford. It's the Saints who hold the football, but they're trailing as we begin the fourth quarter of play.
So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Now a play fake here on first down. And incomplete. Crisis averted. Almost picked. Instead, second down. I guess they're in a situation now, fourth quarter, where they're forced to take some chances, but I don't know that that was the type of a chance you want to take. And that one could very easily have been intercepted. And if it does get picked off, that could possibly seal this one. Line of scrimmage again the 37 as they line up second and 10. A man who's been busy this afternoon, it's Kamara again, fighting his way down to about the 35 yard line. It's a gain of about three, but it's going to leave him with third and still seven yards to go. the 15 before they drop him. The 21 yards there as they convert on third. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and 10. On the ground, this is Kamara. And he'll be taken down here at about the 11. Two yards on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Well, they had that one sniffed out. Excellent run blitz. Stop that one for a short game. What makes a good run blitz a good run blitz? The ability to stay on task, to follow up your assignment, go to the gap you're supposed to cover, and not be deterred by anything else. Second down, Kamara. And he'll take it into the end zone for the Saints touchdown. A great effort there with his second touchdown of the game, number eight on the season. And the Saints are within an extra point of tying this thing up. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And that will shave one more off this lead. So they will accept the penalty and move forward. Set to go now with the kickoff. These two teams all even again as we continue in this wild fourth quarter. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. And the Giants ready to come out now. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you've scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go-around. Some good games going on in the early window. This might be the best of the bunch. They begin with a run by Corral. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. Yeah, give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Tough running there. That's a hard-earned four yards. Yeah, those are the unsung kind of runs. They don't fill up the stat sheet, but they do set you up in good position on second down. Second and six, just inside the 30. Second down, here's Barkley. Breaks a tackle. And he'll slip his way up across the 30 to the 32. Two yards on the carry there, and it's going to lead him to third down. 
He's definitely tough to get down. We just saw it right there. But how about what we did see? Pursuit, wrap up, and then the big finish with the tackle. The Giants on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This time it's third and three. Four down, four down. Back to throw. Leach. And it's going to be incomplete. He was able to catch it there on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. And it's going to bring up fourth down. Yeah, and that play was pretty well doomed right from the start. The pressure was really affecting him. Collapsed everything in the pocket. He had to move around, try to get it downfield. Incomplete. Here's Riley Dixon now. He's been terrific so far. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. The last possession, these guys were able to tie the game with a touchdown, and now they'll have a chance to move out in front. Yeah, let's give a big assist to the defense who got the ball back. The special teams went out there, handled things. They've got it. They've got momentum. I know they're eager to get out there and put it on display. First down throw, gone. Over the middle, complete. That's Smith. And able to get it here to about the 16-yard line. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Facing a second and two after that last catch. Good for eight yards. Now Camara. And he'll get it up here this time to the 21. And five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. Saw it through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. Here's Matt. And he'll find some space up to about the 25. There to stop him on the defensive side, Lorenzo Carter. Well, if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. Coming left is Camara. Looking for a cutback lane, but nothing there as he's met at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. The Saints on third down. They've hit four of seven. This will be third and six. Now gone. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. Anytime a defense can sit back in a zone like that, it tends to create a lot of congestion in the middle of the field. Makes it very hard to slot one in. Looked like I-4 at rush hour in your hometown of Orlando, Florida. An absolute mess. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is set away. And New York set to take the field and hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your fate. Leverage guys, win the line of scrimmage. If you do that, you start to win first down. You win second down. And guess what? You start accumulating first downs, and that's what they need in order to not punt the ball again. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. A 
first down carry for Barkley. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 15 yards is the pick up there, and the drive starting very nicely. First down. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. Off the play fake. Leach. And bringing it in right side here, Beckham. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. They call it a gain of 19, and it moves the chains. This quarterback now, five straight completions here in this second half, first and ten. Now a handoff to Corral, down to the 30 after a gain of three. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. To throw on second down. Leach. And that one got tipped. Kind of threw everything off. It brings up third. Really nice play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. But for the guys on the offensive line, they're doing a nice job of trying to protect their passer. But when a guy hops in the air and goes airborne to try and knock one away, it's difficult because you can't reach out and grab him. That'll be a holding penalty. So all you're trying to do is make some type of a play on him, make some type of contact to try and get his arms out of the sky. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far, and the crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. Looking to throw. Leach. Nowhere to turn here, and he's going to go down. Back at about the 37 yard line. And now, defensively, they're going to burn their first time out. Remember, they get an extra time built in coming up here shortly at the two minute warning. And Rosas puts this one through. And they have taken the lead here in the fourth quarter. So the drive here ends with a field goal. It does give them the lead, but this one's still certainly a long ways from over. It definitely puts a lot of pressure on your defense to hold the lead, right? They're happy to have it and happy to be out there trying to do so. But I know as a former player, in the back of their mind, they're thinking, why don't you score the touchdown and seal this thing? Now the Saints, they trot their offense out here. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times the punter goes to the sideline, puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. Now go off on first down. The attempt on the dive, and he has it. What a catch. 23 yards on the play. And that's how you throw for a whole heap of yards in the game. You get efforts like that from your receivers. How about him laying out for that catch? Yeah, excellent. Makes the quarterback look a whole lot better. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. They pick up 12 on the play there, and they move the chains. Time for a break. We'll come back for the electrifying conclusion after this.
Back to back good plays have him on the move on first down. Now it's gone. It's caught at the 10. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. That one goes for 36 yards. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown. And that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. Again, we'll see the pistol here. They'll run it with Kamara. And he'll keep working toward that end zone as he's down to about the two-yard line. And now the Giants, they get the officials' attention and take another timeout. As they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. From the two now, second and goal. Another pistol look here. They'll give it to him up the middle. And he gets halfway there down to the one-yard line. Calling a gain of a yard as they get a little bit closer here. It's third and goal. That didn't just feel like good defense there. That felt like pride, didn't it? He's already gotten into the end zone twice, trying to get there for a third time. No one likes to have the hat trick against them. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play, third and goal. They'll run it with Mack, and this will result in him losing yardage back to the three. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. The Giants going to burn their third and final timeout, and as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This to tie things up in the final minute. And Lutz's kick is good. And that will tie this game here in the final minute of play. I tell you, the life of a kicker. He has not been called on the entire game. He's over there by the net, but they send him out here in the fourth quarter and say, hey, go tie the game, will you? And guess what? He comes through. I just don't know how they do it. I really don't. These cats are a different breed from you and me. That's a pressure kick, but that one was never in doubt. And good starting field position. He'll get this one all the way up to about the 35-yard line. The final score now from that game at Lambeau. And it was the Rams emerging victorious. If they hang on, that would up their win total to five on the season so far. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Throwing on first down. Leach throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. The linebacker, Demario Davis, got a hand in to break that one up. This defense hasn't had the best showing in this game, but a critical knockdown there. If they can hang on, I guess the end will kind of justify the mean. Certainly, and just think of it this way. It may not be the quantity of the plays that they've had because those haven't been great, but they get a few more quality ones like that. That could finish things off for them. Here's second and 10 now from the 35. to the air on second down. Leach. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. Third and long coming up defensively. You pressure the quarterback or drape all over the passing lane? Yes. That's exactly what you do. It's both <laughs> because they're not mutually exclusive. They may have been at one time in football, but not anymore. You want to have that pressure. And if you have a big time pass rusher, send him after the quarterback and then make sure you blanket the field.
Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. The pressure drops off as they'll look to throw. And that's incomplete. This defense looking impenetrable now. Three straight incompletions. They're giving them nowhere to go with the football. Maybe a little frustrated back there. Oh, there's no doubt about it. When you've missed on three straight, there's going to be some frustration. But now he's got to make sure that that frustration is temporary, not lingering. Big throw coming up. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. And now the Saints get set to trot out there. The field goal range, not much. A tie game, you don't want to do anything crazy, right? I agree with you on that one. Risk-reward, okay? If you go for it, what is the absolute reward on this? But the risk is probably greater. Run the clock out, get to overtime, and try and win it there. All right, we'll see if they do just that. Take a deep breath, because that's what they're doing down the field now. That incompletion allowed them to exhale a little bit. Get in the huddle, kind of scan the crowd, see if any celebrities are here. Relax a little bit as they start this big drive. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Now it's gone. Open man, there is Malone. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead. As they get it with 16 seconds remaining on the clock. So that changes things. Here's first and 10 all the way up at the 45. Goff now to throw. Airing this one out for Fitzgerald. He's got it with the 15. And he's able to get this down deep on the giant side of the field. And whistles, and they take their final timeout with seven seconds left. So it all rests now on the right leg of Will Lutz. And his kick is indeed good. And it's celebration time on that sideline as they have taken the lead in the final seconds. He hasn't missed a kick all year. Why would he start now? <laughs> That's a great question, isn't it? Well, maybe because that was the most nerve-wracking kick he had to attempt all year, but he knocked it through just like it was an easy chip shot. Short, short kick. One of the up middle take it now. The Giants offense now gets ready to head back onto the field. Look at the clock. Everyone knows the situation. Probably time here for one final play. And we know what that play is going to be. It's got to be some sort of Hail Mary throwing it towards the end zone and hoping someone can catch it or catch it off of a tip. Think back to 2015. Didn't we see Green Bay pull that off yep, twice absolutely. in the season? Once in the regular season, once in the playoffs. So stranger things have happened. It'd be interesting to see what the defensive strategy is about who they put on the field to try and knock that ball away. All right, now, lucky 56. Lucky 56. One final shot. They'll look to throw. Now a desperation throw deep down. And oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked up by Marcus Williams. And that's how this one ends in dramatic fashion in overtime with the interception. Well, we were on hand for a fun and entertaining game here. Coming down really to that last play. Great job defensively to get the pick and seal it. And we know that every play during a game matters. 
You're never sure which one's going to be one of the key ones. But at the end of the game, when you analyze it, three, four, five plays are going to be the ones you focus on. And that last play was one of them. The last shot had to take it. And they came up with the interception and sealed their victory. So for New Orleans, the final two weeks are going to tell the story for them as they move to 9-5 and five with a win. And they'll return home next week to take on the Philadelphia Eagles. Meanwhile, for the Giants... Their slim playoff hopes are gone now as they fall to 5-9. and nine. And they'll try to rebound next week on the road in Washington. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Alongside Charles Davis, we thank our entire crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Cool. Oh.